Okay, so this is just a quick explanation how we can get an object to change colors in the game engine. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is make sure we have our cube selected. We're going to set our cube to whatever color we want. So I'm going to use the orange that I used in the video. Um, we're then going to make sure the animation frame is on one so you can see the animation frame there and we can change it by using the left and right arrow keys so we're going to go to frame one we're going to have our mouse over this color selection and then we're going to hit the i key and you'll see that it creates this kind of greenish border around that color that means we've inserted a keyframe there and that's used for uh, animating so now we're going to switch to the second keyframe by using the right arrow key. So you can see here I'm on frame two. And now we're going to choose a different color. So let's choose different color there. And then we're just gonna mouse over the color again and hit I. So now if I use the left and right arrow keys, you'll see this number changes and the color of the cube changes as well. So you see? So what we've basically done there is we've animated a color change between this kind of orangish color and this blue color. So now we're going to add some sensors. I'm going to use keyboard sensors. You can use whatever you like. Um, one of these is going to be used to change the cube to blue, and one of them is going to be used to change the cube to the orangish color. We can just add end controllers because they're not really going to be doing anything. And then we're going to add an action actuator. So an action actuator plays an animation. This field here tells us what animation uh, we want to play. And you'll see we only have one selected. You might have a few others, but I'm going to choose this material action here. We can wire the first controller into this actuator. And I said we wanted this one to change to blue. Uh, and so whenever the cube is blue, you'll notice our keyframe is 2. So we can just set our start and end frame animation to 2. So whenever I hit the A key, it's going to tell the cube to play the animation starting on frame 2 and ending on frame 2. Uh, so it'll basically just set the keyframe to 2. Then I'm going to add another actuator, wire that into the other controller. It's going to play the exact same action except this time it's going to start and end on keyframe 1, which will set the cube to orange. So if I mouse over my 3D window and I press P to play the game, you will see if I hit the first key, it changes to blue, and the second key changes to orange. So you can hook up any sensor you want to these. Uh, it will work with any sensor. For instance, I can change this to an always sensor and whenever I first play the game you'll notice it immediately changes to blue. Alright, I hope this helped you, and uh, have a good day.